something unbelievable just happened during a secret NATO test. Uh, these words echoed through secure channels. They appeared on encrypted messages. On video feeds, the faces of seasoned professionals went blank. They were watching a routine exercise. A drill designed to test the readiness of allies. The air was thick with procedure and protocol. Then, in a single quiet moment, everything changed. A system believed to be one of the most robust shields in the world began to falter. The test was not about explosions. It was not about dogfights. It was about something far more subtle. It was a test of electronics, a game of signals, and shadows played at the speed of light. October 21st, 2025, a gray, clouded sky over a desolate stretch of sea. Multiple aircraft from different nations participated. They were meant to work together, a symphony of advanced technology. A sound that was not a sound, a wave of digital disruption, a pulse of electronic energy rippled through the exercise area. The event was silent, yet its impact was deafening in command rooms. This secret just became a legend. The purpose of the test. Find weaknesses, push limits, see what breaks. But no one expected a break like this. The system in question, a cornerstone of American air defense. A complex network of sensors and communication links. It is designed to see everything, to track every threat. For a brief, stunning period, that picture was torn apart replaced with chaos, false images, disappearing targets. The shield had been tricked. The unbelievable became a chilling reality. What followed were questions. What happened? How did it happen? Who was responsible? One name kept emerging. The Saab Gripen. The Saab Gripen is not the largest fighter jet. It is not the fastest. It does not carry the heaviest payload. But it was designed with a different philosophy in mind. It was built to be intelligent, a thinking machine in a world of brute force. The Gripen is a product of Sweden, defending a vast territory with limited resources. The jet is small. It is agile. It can take off and land on short, makeshift runways. It moves like a predator, quick, efficient, hard to pin down. Its delta wing, canard configuration give it exceptional maneuverability, allowing it to dance through the air with an eerie grace. On the day of the test, the Gripen was a whisper in the sky. It slid through the low cloud banks. It used the terrain of the sea and the weather as camouflage. To others, it was just another friendly aircraft, a known quantity. But this Gripen was different. It carried tools that live in the electromagnetic spectrum. Not weapons that fire missiles. Weapons that fire information. To understand what happened, one must understand the nature of jamming. Imagine a radar system as a person shouting in a vast cave. The time it takes for the echo to return tells distance. The direction of the echo tells where. Military radar works the same way. It sends a pulse of radio energy and listens for the echo from an aircraft. The returning echo paints the sky. Jamming is the art of screaming back. There are simple ways. Noise jamming. Like a powerful fire hose of radio energy. The operator sees only a wall of noise. Effective but obvious. And traceable. Then there is a smarter way. Deception jamming. You listen. You record their hello. You play it back with a slight delay. They think there are many walls. Or moving walls. Advanced EW systems analyze and then transmit false echoes. One aircraft can look like a hundred, or appear elsewhere, or disappear entirely. The Gripen's integrated EW suite, known as Ariter, is among the most advanced. It can sample a radar signal, digitally alter it, send it back as false targets, and make the Gripen vanish. This is an offensive capability, a way to control information. We must be clear, officials have not confirmed the details, the word is alleged. It occurred during a complex, multinational exercise. Glitches can happen, parameters can surprise, a mosaic of leaks, speculation, and screen captures formed a picture. It suggests a vulnerability in a trusted defensive system, not a single radar, a network, jets, ships, ground.
and space. A protective bubble, hundreds of miles wide, tracks hundreds, distinguishes friend from foe, guides missiles with precision. Reports say the Gripen did not attack head-on. It used digital flanking. Targeting weaker data links, the seams in the armor, a small stream of crafted false data created a cascade. The system began to distrust itself. The picture fractured. Friendlies vanished. Phantoms appeared. Not a hammer blow. Dismantled from the inside out. For pilots and operators, physics felt suspended. Reality replaced by fiction. The shield was down. We do not have the complete technical record, but a pattern emerges. This was no blunt instrument, it was a scalpel. Step 1. Passive listening on the edge of the area. Its sensors soaked up electronic chatter, mapped the network, identified frequencies and data link protocols, like a burglar reading blueprints before a heist. Step 2. Insertion via very low power, highly specific signals, disguised as legitimate friend communications, a forged passport. Once inside, malicious instructions began their work. Subtle, almost undetectable. Step 3. Manipulation. Structured information to cause confusion. Inside the trusted network, its own logic amplified the errors. Why was the Gripen capable of this? Design philosophy. From inception, electronic warfare and network-centric capability. Less a flying machine than a flying supercomputer fully integrated EW. Sensors, processors, jammers, all working as one. Reacts in microseconds, changes techniques on the fly, learns. Software agility, rapid, iterative upgrades as a core advantage. In the weeks after, official channels fell silent. No nation advertises vulnerabilities, nor embarrasses an ally. The event became a classified data point for intense review. Yet the questions could not be contained. Teams re-examined architectures, searching for the crack exploited. A painstaking process, develop a patch. A shift in thinking, victory may depend on the smartest algorithms. Not more missiles, but AI, machine learning, and EW suites. The alleged success is powerful advertisement and a humbling moment for others. The test meant to build cooperation exposed a gap to be closed behind closed doors. A wake-up call. The nature of warfare is changing. And it is changing fast. The image remains. A small, gray jet slipping through the clouds. A bank of screens suddenly filled with digital ghosts. A room full of experts, stunned into silence. The Gripen did not fire a shot. It did not drop a bomb. It simply changed the information, bent perception. It raises a fundamental question about the future of conflict. The battlefield now includes the electromagnetic spectrum. In this invisible domain, cleverness can outweigh strength. A well-written piece of code can be more effective than a squadron of jets. A reality where a smaller nation, through innovation and strategy, can challenge a superpower. If one system can be deceived, can others? Can a battle be won by creating a false reality before it begins? These are no longer theoretical questions. The Swedish Gripen, in one secret test, may have opened Pandora's box. A box of strange, unsettling possibilities in 21st century warfare. The silent war is underway, fought with signals and code. Has Sweden created the ultimate electronic warrior? Subscribe to Viper Wings for more shocking military tech revelations.